okay now let's look at question number 17 part a so question number 17 is the trigonometric question so first part is prove this identity cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1 for theta belongs to r so we are going to do that using a circle of radius r so we'll draw this circle of radius r then mark some point on that circle so that is x y then we will draw this right triangle so then theta is this angle that the radius r makes with the x axis then the adjacent side is x opposite side is y and the radius is r what so then we have a relationship between r y and x from the pythagorean identity we know x squared plus y squared is going to be equal to r squared right then using this right triangle we will define cos theta and sin theta cos theta is going to be what adjacent over hypotenuse so x over r or we can write it as r cos theta is equal to x so that is second one then we will write sin theta similarly opposite over hypotenuse so opposite is y opposite side over hypotenuse r so r sin theta is then going to be equal to y then we will do 2 squared plus 3 squared and see what we get we get r squared cos squared theta plus r squared sin squared theta is equal to x squared plus y squared then from 1 we know x squared plus y squared is equal to what r squared so r squared times cos squared theta plus r squared times sin squared theta is equal to r squared we can just cancel r squared and we have the pythagorean identity so that is the proof of the first part then next part is an application of that pythagorean identity so we have to solve this trigonometric equation for this range x has to be in this range so let's write cos squared x minus 1 sin squared x we will replace by cos squared x so sin squared x is going to be 1 minus cos squared x so 3 cos x then move all the terms to this side so 2 cos squared x minus 3 cos x minus 2 is equal to 0 now we can factor this 2 cos x cos x so minus 2 plus 1 so you get what 2 cos squared x minus 4 cos 6 so minus 2 cos 6 right equals 0 so from here you get cos x is equal to minus r from here you get cos x is equal to 2 which is impossible because cos is between minus 1 and 1 so no solutions from this one then from this part this is what cos 2 pi over 3 so x is 2 n pi sorry plus or minus pi over 3 that is the general solution m belongs to c but we want the solutions in 0 to 2 pi so then the only two solutions we get is 2 pi over 3 and what else 4 pi over 3 
sorry this should be 2 pi over 3 yeah. that is the general so our solution is 2 pi over 3 or 4 pi over 3 in the correct region right that is part a of the question 